All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is a good day. I am back from about uh, five days of travel. Um, had to go out of uh, out of state for some travel, but I got back yesterday to a great surprise, and that surprise was version uh, FSD supervised 12.4.3. So we've moved away from 12.3.6, and we have the uh, new version or the latest version of FSD supervised where we don't need to interact with the steering wheel. So very much looking forward to that. Um, we've got our test path here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to be uh, leaving the community here. Be interesting to see the uh, not only just the uh, non-interaction with the steering wheel and using the in-cabin camera, but also how this version shapes up against uh, the last version that we were on, 12.3.6. Hopefully we see some improvements to, uh, to the auto speed offset uh, from the system, and uh, hopefully uh, we see some improvement with the, uh, with the vehicle's level of confidence in uh, selecting the right lane to be in. Remember, we were seeing a lot of the lane dancing uh, in the past, which wasn't good. All right, so uh, 20 mile an hour zone. We're doing 19 through here. This is a obviously a residential, so this is a good speed to be at. All right. Unprotected left here coming out of the neighborhood. So we're creeping forward from the stop sign there at our NHTSA stop. And uh, it's going to have to, well, yeah, it's going to go ahead and commit. And it's clear both ways. That was, uh, that was really good. I was a little concerned that it couldn't see uh, at the B pillar here on the driver's side, but it was able to see okay. So it went ahead and went for it. So great job there. Going through our first roundabout. As it has for a while, it's treated these roundabouts uh, with a lot of confidence, just as it just did. Turn signal on there, indicating that we're going to be exiting the roundabout, so good behavior. A little slow through here. It's a 25. We're doing 19. Um, would have liked to see us uh, step it up a little bit coming out of that roundabout. Entering the second roundabout. Doing quite well. And there's our indicator that we're going to be exiting the roundabout for the traffic uh, behind us, which is good. Got some acceleration up to 30 miles an hour into 25. We do have a uh, white Model Y behind us that's trailing us, so we'll hope that the auto offset does a good job through here, which uh, I can't be mad at it right now. It's doing, uh, well, now it's slowing down for some reason spoke too soon to 25 now we're doing 23 it needs to be going faster than that getting an indication please pay attention to the road i was doing a little scanning left and right um, now i'm looking straight ahead and that that uh, prompt has gone away um, so that's that's i love that behavior i'm not being nagged to touch the steering wheel i'm just being told that i need to uh, uh look look forward and pay attention which is uh which is good i mean i was paying attention but i wasn't looking forward there for a few seconds so I guess it didn't like that. All right, coming up on the 35. We just came out of that third roundabout. Now the vehicle is uh, speeding up some. Now we're doing a 45 and 35, which, uh, which again, is uh, pretty comfortable coming through here. It's a good speed. We got a suggested uh, uh, speed limit of 25 going around this bend here, and we are going to be taking it at 38. And again, pretty, pretty comfortable, pretty composed going around that corner. Not a problem. All right, we've got a green light. Um, another thing I'd like to see fixed is uh, the transition to yellow. Well, we had enough time to uh, to slow down and stop here without slamming on the on the brakes because in the last version, 
12.3.6, you'd be approaching the intersection and you'd get a uh, yellow. And it was the type of yellow that uh, you should definitely go ahead and proceed through instead of slamming on the brakes and risking getting in an accident, somebody rear-ending you. Um, so I'll be curious to know if that behavior has been improved um, in this uh, latest version of uh, 12.4.3. But we'll have to wait a little longer to see that because uh, we didn't catch it here at this intersection. There was plenty enough time to stop slowly there, as you saw. All right, so we're going to be going up to... Uh, uh, another neighborhood up here and uh, there's a park in that neighborhood but we won't we while we're navigating to that park but we won't pull in but we'll get close to it and then uh, we'll put in another destination here that's going to uh, uh, put us out on this very road just down a little bit further and doing an unprotected left where the vehicle is going to have to uh, it's going to have to negotiate doing an unprotected left across uh, in essence uh, four lanes of traffic to going north and two going south um, so we'll see uh, we will see how the vehicle fares with that not a lot of traffic out on the roads now we're in the uh, 10 a.m. hour on a Sunday so not a lot going on but there is some traffic out so hopefully we get a good uh, a good test here with an unprotected left on this latest version All right, this is actually a 40 mile an hour zone, and we're doing uh, we're doing 52 back there. So a little bit fast for my taste. I, I don't like to go more than 10 over, um, but you know the car has adjusted now. We're doing a, a 48, which I think is appropriate here. And this, I mean, this, this no steering wheel nag is where it's at. I mean, I, I really feel that I'm just a, a passenger here uh, because I, I just haven't had to uh, give any input on the steering wheel, which is so um, bizarre in a good way, uh, if you will. I mean, it's, it's we, we've been so used to um, giving these periodic inputs into the steering wheel that you're almost, uh, it's almost second nature that you that you want to go ahead and give an input just uh, just because you know that it's coming, just to sort of almost reset that timer. And I'm not having to do that, so it's, uh, it's really, really nice. You know, and I can still, I can still look left, you know, if I need to check something out, check my mirrors, I can look right for a couple seconds before, uh, before I get the prompt. And uh, so it's a reasonable amount of time to uh, be able to stay alert and aware of your surroundings uh, without the system uh, giving you that on-screen prompt to look forward. It's really game-changing. Right, about a half a mile, we're going to be making a right, right-hand turn. Forty-five and a forty, decent speed. And it does seem like uh, you know Tesla's having a, a tough time with the auto auto speed uh, feature here. Uh, hopefully, they get that figured out soon because uh, you know it's de it's definitely something that needs to be improved. All right, making a right turn here. Very composed right turn, kind of slow. Um, but I'm not mad at it. I was all right. Thirty mile an hour zone. We're doing twenty seven. Could be going faster here. At least go the speed limit. All right, so here we have a 
small unprotected left. One lane in uh, either direction. We have cars, cars approaching from the left and from the right. And there's this, uh, this there's a blue RAV4 that's right next to me making a right-hand turn. Um, so our car can't really see what's coming from the right. Uh, but it is not clear to go at this point. We're clear from the left, but we're not clear from the right. Uh, but we will be after this uh, silver SUV goes by and FSD is going to take it. Very good. Good job. All right, so our, our destination is up on the right. I'm not going to pull into the park. So I'm just going to uh, end it right here. And uh, we are going to put in a different destination here that's going to take us uh, to unprotected left here that we want to be on. I'm going to re-engage. I'm going to make a left-hand turn here. Hanging another left, I'm getting a prompt to please pay attention. I'm looking straight ahead, and it went away. So very good. All right, we're looping back around through this residential so that we can get out to uh, to this more complex uh, unprotected left that I was mentioning earlier, where we have to cross uh, two lanes of traffic and do uh, suicide lanes. And uh, well, now I'm getting a prompt to apply force to the steering wheel for some reason. Now that's weird. Attention monitoring active. So the system's active, but it was asking me to give uh, an input on the steering wheel for some reason. Um, so maybe it did not have a clear view of sight of me in the driver's seat, um, which is kind of bizarre because I haven't moved. I haven't put on, I'm not wearing a hat. I'm not wearing sunglasses. Um, so I'm not sure what that was about. Making a right hand turn here. I'm clear to do so. Good. All right, we're coming up on that uh, unprotected left that I was mentioning. All right, so we're going to hit our uh, NHTSA stop here at the stop bar. There's our stop. We're going to creep forward, which is what we're doing now. Got that creep forward. We got a truck that's making a left-hand turn. It is not clear from the left. Got a group of cars coming from the left. It is not clear to go. It needs to stop, and it does. It thought about it for a second. It thought, it seemed like it was going to possibly go, uh, but then it decided to stop. So a group of cars from the left is coming to an end. We've got three more cars coming. And uh, but we've got cars coming from the right, so it's either going to get in the median here or it's going to wait. It looks like it's going to wait. All right, got this white BMW making a turn, left turn here. All right, uh, the gap is closing from the left, so it's it's still going to have to wait here. Although it is clear from the right, or it's it's about to be, but it's going to have to wait here. All right, we're going to be clear from the left right now. The vehicle's starting to creep up. It can't really see to the right because there's a Prius making a right turn. But it's going to be clear to the right and clear from the left, so we're going to take it. Very good. Good job by FSD. Good acceleration out of the turn. That was pretty confident there with uh, handling that situation with the unprotected left. That was really, really good. Um, very good behavior. All right, so, I mean, I overall, I'm feeling very good about this version of, uh, of FSD here on this initial drive. Um, one small hiccup with the uh, in-cabin monitoring there that, for some reason, it asked me to give an input on the wheel. I guess it did not, couldn't see me uh, very, very well for some reason um, for a moment. And then um, I gave that input, and then the uh, monitoring system said that it became active again um, and in play again. So not sure what that was about. Um, we're still experiencing some challenges with the auto speed, um, not going uh, fast enough when it should, um, and, and, and some of the residentials going too slow, so the opposite of what we saw in the past, uh, where it was going too fast in some of those res residentials. Uh, but overall, you know, 
comfort level. It's very, very comfortable drive. I feel the car is pretty confident in its decision making. Um, we haven't really had any, uh, you know, lane dancing that I've noticed yet, although we haven't really introduced any situations where we typically see that lane dancing. Maybe we'll take a look at that in an, in an upcoming video um, to where we can get into some of those uh, situations where it has historically done some lane dancing in the past. Um, but for right now, on this initial drive, uh, thumbs up. It's doing pretty well. I'm really enjoying not having to uh, give any input to the steering wheel uh, for the majority of this drive. And uh, there hasn't been any intervention on this drive or disengagement. So good job so far on version 12.4.3. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you here on the next one. Bye-bye.